What's going on everybody? Brennan here. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about the promoted function within Steemit. Today I'm going to go into detail about how that works. I've been testing it out over the last couple of days with the blog post I did. So I'm going to share my surprising results with you. Also, I'm going to show you how to get your promoted content up to the very top of the promoted tab. So we'll go over that in just a minute. First, we need to pick a winner from yesterday's comment contest. Um, yesterday's post was 15 ways to reach your Steemit goals in 2018. We had a lot of great comments here, a lot of great feedback. People shared some extra pointers, so there's some other good nuggets down in here if you want to take a look at that. Um, but let's go ahead and pick yesterday's winner. I'm going to go ahead and post that link in here and pick a random winner. All right, Slim Hero 777 said, great post, this is so helpful. So I'm glad that was helpful for you there, and we're going to go ahead and send you $20 worth of SBD. So let's go ahead and go to my wallet. And we're going to steam dollars transfer to him. And let's see what the, it, today it's uh, 2.49 equals 20 steam back dollars. So we're going to send that amount to him. And I'm going to post the comment here. You're today's winner. Make sure to follow, upvote, and comment to win again. And go ahead and submit that to him or her. All right, guys, and if you don't know, every single day or every single post I do, I'm giving out 20 U.S. dollars worth of SBD to a random comment. So be sure to follow me, upvote the post of the day, and be sure to leave a comment, and I will be choosing a random winner every single post, every single day that I'm posting. So um, it's a great way to win some extra SBD and get some good information because I'm trying to share information here on my channel to help people make the most of Steemit. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's, to today's post here. We're going to go to the Steemit uh, front page here. So today we're going to talk all about promoted content, how that works, and my surprising results that I got from testing it out over the last couple of days. But if you guys are just brand spanking new and you didn't realize that there is a promoted tab up here, well, there is, <laughs> and it's for people who want to promote their content, spend a little money, and get their content pushed to the top of this tab right here. Now, one thing I'm going to go ahead and say is that I kind of wish that this wasn't a separate tab. I kind of wish it was just mixed in with maybe the trending or the hot or just, you know, on the main feed somewhere. So people didn't have to click to see basically ads, right? I mean, they're basically clicking to the promoted tab and opting in to see who paid to have their post uh, promoted. So I think it could could have been done a little bit better. I think this could have been put, in, put into the trending. That could would actually have been really cool. So if I click on a tab here like Steam It, trending pops up immediately. So it would have been nice if this promoted content was just kind of mixed in with it. That would have been, I think, a lot better. Um, now, that could have jumbled things up, and, and there's probably some pros and cons to that. You know, if this was all mixed in with the promoted content, it would be a lot harder to get your, your post just trending. So, I don't know. There's some pros and cons to that, and that's still I'm still on the fence whether I think there should be another tab or not. Um, but, if you didn't know, guys, let's just go over this. If you didn't know, there is a promoted tab. And let me just go ahead and explain these top four tabs up here in case you guys just don't really understand what they are. So let's go over new first. New is obviously pretty self-explanatory. This is new content. So if you click on Steemit and new, then you're going to see the new posts that fall into the Steemit category or the person used the Steemit tag. So this is all new stuff. So like this was posted 49 seconds ago, 58 seconds ago, one minute ago. Pretty self-explanatory. Now hot is basically new content that is trending already. So it's fairly new. So this is like 43 minutes, one hour, 44 minutes. So it's stuff that's pretty new, but it's already sort of trending. I kind of look at this as the new trending page right here. If you go to trending, now this is stuff that might have been out been out for a while. Um, it may have been out only seven hours, like this one right here. Um, some of them are two days. Some of them are three days. Uh, some of them even go like almost a week. So um, anyway, these are just a lot more long-term hot articles. That's the way I look at it. So these are basically the four tabs up here. Now, promoted is also pretty self-explanatory. This is for people who want to pay money and promote their content. So like I've done here with this win steam at dollars with your comments. So I wanted to let people know that I'm doing this now. So I, what's cool about this is not only does it show up in the steam it category, but it also shows up in all the other tags that I used for that post. So it shows up in steam. It's actually number one for the steam category. Uh, it shows up in blog. It's actually number one there as well. And I'm trying to remember which one else I used. I think cryptocurrency was one I used. See, that one's actually a little tougher. So that's down, what, six or seven down right there. So 
that's basically just you know how it works. Now, one question you're probably asking is, well, how do I promote my content? I don't know how to do that. Well, if I go back to my article here, you'll see that there is a, and this is with everybody's articles, there's a promote button down here. And you may have seen it before and you may not really have known what it does, but if you click promote, you can choose whatever amount of Steam dollars you want to use to promote your post, okay? And uh, the more you put in here, the higher up it's going to be on the list for whatever category. So let's go uh, back over here to Promoted, and let's go to Steam It. And as you can see here, there's two posts that are above mine. So let's look at why that is. And I'm going to show you, this is really kind of a, a tip or a trick to show you how you can get to the number one or number two if you wanted to. So I'm not really concerned about it. I think as long as you're in the top three or four or even five, I think you're okay. But let's just look. If you click right here on my post next to the dollar sign or the dollar amount here on rewards, you can see the promotion cost I spent was 12 SBD, $12 SBD. So if you look at these other posts, it's going to be more. This person put $14.50. So all I would do is need to do is put three more dollars into my promotion to be bumped up to the number two spot, right? Same thing with this one. He spent 25 SBD, so quite a bit, uh, which wasn't really necessary for this tag. Um, and he's only made a dollar forty back. But there's another way to look at this as far as return on investment goes. I know we like to look at dollar amounts. We like to see dollar returns and stuff like that. But if you if you're going to be using the promoted tab, you got to look at this more long term. And that's really what I'm doing with this. I was really just testing it out to see how it worked. And I think I put in two dollars originally, and then then I added some more so I could get it bumped up a little bit. But don't look at just the dollar return amount. On your post what you should be looking at is you know how many followers are you getting right how many upvotes are you getting how many um, comments are you getting because it may just by promoting it in here it may end up in the trending section because so many people are upvoting and commenting on it even if it's not worth much so that's one thing to look at but um, I saw somebody else break it down as far as the promotion ROI goes and they said look if you got you know if you got a hundred new followers and even if they're not worth much today, you know, as far as their upvotes go, over time their upvotes are going to be worth more and more and more. So if you've got 100 new followers that are going to be liking your post, then not only are you getting a return on investment for this post, but also your future posts that they like and comment on and upvote. So that's what you should really look at as more long-term growth. So the promoted, promoted section, um, I was actually very, very surprised with this post. Um, now, I have to admit, I can't say that all of this was from the promoted section. I mean, this is just like a great, I mean, I think it's a cool thing that I'm doing to offer this contest and offer free money basically for your comments. So um, it did get a lot of traction. It got a lot of comments. It got a lot of upvotes and uh, just a whole lot of conversation on it just from my following alone. But I've got a lot from the promoted section as well. And the way I know that is because if I go over here to my main page, I've now got 274 followers. When I started this, I had 169 followers. So I've gained 105 followers since I started this promotion. So that probably wouldn't have happened if I hadn't put that in the promoted section. So I'm looking at that as a return on investment, right? Because from now on, I'm, that's more upvotes I'm gonna get, and that's more comments I get, that's more feedback I get, so I get ideas for content to, to create for you guys. So I think it's a huge ROI, and I was actually pleasantly surprised. I was very, skeptical about using the promoted section, uh, using that function in here because of a couple reasons. One is I'm thinking, well, who in the world clicks over here to the promoted section? Because I've never personally done it myself. Of course, now I'm doing it because I'm promoting content. And maybe that's one of the good things. Maybe other people who are promoting their content are clicking on this to see where their post is at. And maybe they see something else that's cool, right? So um, that, that could be one of the audiences that you're seeing here. And another reason why I was really kind of skeptical and held back from using this promoted feature for a while was because that I knew, and I'd read this somewhere in a couple places actually, that whenever you promote your content on Steemit, you'll see right here, let's go to my wallet real quick and I'll show you. Whenever you promote your content on Steemit, it goes to null. Like this is where I added two more dollars to my promotion. It goes to null. Now if you go to null, that's not even a real user. Their wallet is zero. Uh, so what happens, guys, and I, I read about this in pretty good detail on another person's page, but what happens is whenever you promote content, all the SBD that you send to that null account basically gets burned or gets destroyed. So 
that uh, Steam Back Dollars gets removed off of the blockchain um, at the next fork, whenever that happens. It'll be removed from the blockchain. So it's good and it's bad. It's good because our Steam Back Dollars gets deflated, so they go up in value because there's less of them, but there's still as much demand, if not more. So the value goes up for Steam Back Dollars. But the bad news is, in my eyes, is we're actually kind of low on Steam Back Dollars to start with. Let's go to Corn Market Cap real quick and just take a look at Steam Back Dollars and look at the uh, current circulation. It's around 5 million, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, circulating supply is 5 million coins. That is very, very low for cryptocurrency, especially a token that's being used as regularly as Steam Dollars. So I'm curious to know, you know, think about if every single user on Steemit was promoting their content and spending SBD on that. This That would be a lot of coins that get removed at the next fork. So I don't know, like we're already limited with our supply. So do we really need to be limiting that even more? So if, give me your thoughts on that. Uh, maybe you guys are a little more experienced with this. Maybe you're a little more tech savvy and know more about the blockchain, or maybe maybe there's some safeguards in place by Steemit or Steam the Steam blockchain, and maybe it will never get down to zero. Now, as you know, the Bitcoin cryptocurrency is being traded and people are buying 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.05 Bitcoin. So, you know, you can break it up into fractions. We can, it, you know, it's possible that in the future we could be buying fractions of a coin instead of a full coin. Um, so that could be possible. But I do think that we are really limited, especially for a token that's being used as regularly as this is on Steemit. I'm really kind of surprised that in the beginning they didn't start out with millions, I mean, uh, billions of coins instead of millions. But this is a really low supply uh, of a coin. If you go to look, and this is a terrible comparison, but if you were to go and look at Ripple, now this was used for the banking sector, so of course they need billions and billions of coins to be able to do money transfers with you know huge uh, accounts. So their circulating supply is 38 billion Ripple. So they have a high amount. Now if you go to Bitcoin, they've got about 17 million if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, almost 17 million circulating supply. So, you know, different cryptocurrencies uh, have different amounts that they start with or end up with, uh, depending on their usage. But I think the Steam Back dollars really need, we really need more of those because of how many people are now using Steemit, how many more people will be using it in the future. So, as far as using the promoted content, I think it's a good thing and a bad thing that we uh, that the coins get burned. I think it's good because it makes the price go up and up and up. But it's also bad because we, we're going to run out of coins, right? But I'm sure there's some safeguard in place. I'm sure there's something uh, in place by Steemit to make sure that doesn't happen. Perhaps in the future they won't burn off coins once it gets to a certain amount. I don't know. I'm sure there's plans in place for that. So it's probably nothing to worry about at all. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I want to hear your feedback on that, your thoughts on uh, the whole coin burning scenario and what's going on with that. Um, you may know something that I don't know. Um, as far as that goes. So anyways, guys, uh, one thing I didn't mention here is that with your promoted content, you might be wondering, well, how long will it stay up here? Well, it'll stay in the promoted section for the complete seven days that your post is act or uh, that your payout hasn't happened. So as soon as you get your first payout on this post or your post, um, it will come out of the promoted section. So right now I've got five more days that it can be in the promoted section. Now, it won't stay at the top if somebody decides to up their promotion. So right now I'm at $12 on the blog category. Well, I'm at $12 in my promotion. But in the blog category, I'm number one. But the next one is at $11. So all he has to do is spend another $1.50, and he could beat mine and be at the number one. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want to keep yours at number one or up in the top three or four, you might want to keep an eye on this from day to day. And just kind of see, like with this Steam It category, I'm still number three, so I'm not really worried about that. But if I wanted to just continue outranking these, I could. Just keep an eye on what their promotion cost is and just add to mine, right? But I'm not too worried about it. I was really just testing this out to see how it does. And I've been pleasantly surprised at the uh, results I've gotten. Over 105 followers. Let's see if that's changed in the last uh, couple of minutes. So 274, still the same. But uh, yeah, I've seen people... New followers every single hour. <laughs> They're just pouring in now from this promotion. So that's really, really cool. And, you know, and of course, I have to give credit to the actual contest I'm running. I know a lot of people don't want to miss out on that. So they're following my blogs to make sure they're not missing any posts um, so they can make sure they get in on my contest and, and uh, possibly get the reward, right? 
So I uh, just want to share my thoughts on that today, guys. I want to hear your thoughts, and I want to know if you've considered using the promoted content, um, if you're trying to promote your own post, or you know, maybe you're against it. Maybe you think it's a bad idea. Maybe you don't like in, uh, deflating the uh, value of the coin, or maybe I don't think anybody doesn't like that. But maybe you don't like the idea of burning coins and having them removed from the blockchain. Um, just give me your thoughts on that and let me know your feelings. I'm going to continue monitoring this and see how it does. Um, one thing I do want to say is that if you're going to do this, make sure you choose something that you think everybody's going to want to see. Okay. Now, I always talk about great content, so make sure that it is great content that you're putting out there for the promoted post. Make sure that it's something you think people in this, these categories that you've put in your post, they're actually going to want to see. It's something pretty general that the entire audience is going to like. So don't just, uh, you know, I always say this, but don't just put some crap post in promoted content. Um, make sure that it's your some of your best work or something you think everybody will want to read or want to see. I knew that with this little contest I'm doing every single day or every single post, you know, who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> who doesn't want to win some free money um, by following content and learning about Steemit? So I knew this would be a winner. Um, so make sure, you know, you think yours over and make sure it's a winner as well, okay? So that's all for today's video, guys. Be sure to uh, upvote this post and leave a comment if you want to win a chance to uh, win $20 worth of SBD on my next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Until the next one, have a great day and steam on, guys.